Stampers, game again. It's card time now. <laughs> the last three videos have been uh, the entries. Um, so, uh, it's finally September and I do start making my Christmas cards in September. Um, but I will do a mixture of each. I will do Christmas card, normal card, Christmas card, normal card. So, I've just been able to play around with my Woodlands um, embossing folder. Absolutely lovely. I've had it a long time and I've only just come to use it. So <laughs> we'll be playing with this one in a minute. And I come up with this. Isn't that adorable? Got a bit of spillage there. Oh. Um, so I just embossed my basic grey, which is um, 3 and 5 eighths by 5 and 3 eighths against the cherry cobbler, which is 3 and 7 eighths by 5 and 5 eighths. And I had a piece of Whisper White, which was two, inch, two inches by three and seven eighths for my uh, message. And I just tore the top and turned them over so you haven't got that horrible frayed edge. And used Wink of Stella on uh, the edges. And I, I just lightly brushed with uh, my Dabba with the white craft ink. Added some star, uh, some snowflakes, and I just randomly added three uh, rhinestones for stars. And my little reindeer, which is from the Cows of Christmas, I just cut that out to, to complement the whole card. It just doesn't need anything else. So pretty. I haven't done anything on the inside yet, but uh, I just wanted to show you how I make this one. So let's get going. Again, like I'm saying, a basic card. Uh, this is half an A4. Which is, oh, look at that. I hate the scoring on these. I like to uh, make sure my joins are all perfect. So, this is just eight and a quarter by five and seven and eight, scored at four and an eighth. That is our base card. Again, we've got a piece of cherry cobbler, which is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. I will put all the measurements on my blog. And I've already gone and embossed my basic grey which is three and five eighths by five and three eighths. And then you're gonna need a, a piece of Whisper White. I can pick it up with these nails. <laughs> this is two inches by three and seven eighths, just to go across there. And then we're gonna stamp and tear, and t well, we're gonna stamp, we're gonna tear, stamp and turn over. So, so let's get going. It's just it's a really quick card actually, but it's effective and you could pop these out really fast if you've got all your measurements cut to size you could put perhaps do 10 in about 20 minutes maybe if you were mass producing them like uh, you would be for I do them for the neighbours in the street and they absolutely adore them they always say your cards are so beautiful <laughs> well they are handmade so I have um, used my folder as I have uh, used uh, it's absolutely gorgeous so I've popped that on just for the time being I'm gonna pop these out the way for a sec and I'm just fetching in the white craft ink pad which I recently renewed you can tell it's new and I've juiced it up a bit so I'm just taking my it's quite a sticky uh, ink so and what I did, I'm just going up lightly up the trees. Just to fetch out the markings. Absolutely beautiful. Oops, it doesn't matter if you get any on there because we've got to add snow anyway, so but do try not to get as much on. <laughs> just lightly. Going over these. How oh, pretty. I tried to emboss on the folder, but it turned out a bit ucky. So, <laughs> and I think I did the wrong side. So, I just thought, why just put it on yourself? So, I like the branches. It's beautiful. And the grey gives it like a nighttime feel. You could use navy, a night of navy as well, I suppose. Absolutely beautiful. Or even black. That would look nice. But it'd be the dead of night then. Or it's more of a silhouette card anyway. 
Um, you know, especially with the little deer the way he is. Isn't that cute? Try to spread that there. And it's like the snow has fell against the trees if you've got darker patches. It's just so cute. Oh, I was really, really chuffed with today's delivery. And fingers crossed you've got to see all three videos now they've been uploaded. <laughs> or I think, wait 30 seconds. Oh, the, step, the third one is going to be done in about... It says two hours, 53. <laughs> Trust me, it's not going to be that long. I don't think it. don't think so, anyway. I hope it uh, doesn't freeze like the first one. But I did manage to get it on there. So that's it. That's all we're going to do with that dobber. And in this stamp set is where I've had the joy to the world. There's tiny little snowflakes here. And that's what I'm using now to add on my card. So, as you can see, it's been used already. I'm just going to randomly dot. Some are paler, some are lighter. And just dabbing them all over. Isn't that cute? It looks so effective as well. Just so cute. Just want to get some down this edge as well. Thank you everyone. I went to the doctor's, the hospital today and I had all my x-rays. I won't get the results for another seven to ten days. Oh, gosh. They're checking to see if my heart is enlarged because my legs swell all the time. Fingers crossed it's not. <laughs> I think it's because I'm not as active now as I used to be. I used to go swimming a lot. I used to love swimming. But uh started. I can't arch my back. I can't bend backwards at all. I'm sitting there with the physio and, well, standing there. He goes, can you please lean back for me, bend backwards? So I'm thinking I'm doing it. And he's like, but you are actually bending from your knees. You're not actually bending your spine. Just try it without the knees. Oh, my God, no chance. I haven't been able to then. That was about four years ago. God. Isn't that pretty? I think that is so, so sweet. And so quick. So I'm going to get rid of the craft ink now. I'm just going to pop that to one side. It's lush. And you're literally just going to tear. Just a little bit of the top off. But we're going to add the two. You got this horrible fuzzy side now. What I did, I turned that over and I placed this. I'm gonna check first my distance to the top of here. I'm gonna slide this behind. So I've got like two lots of snow peaks. Isn't that cute? So what I need to do first is stamp and leave this to dry because the first one I did, I smudged straight away. Oh, so I left it to dry and it worked a treat. Because I'm quite impatient. I just grab things and hope for the best. So Isn't that beautiful? And it looks frosted. It's not a perfect stamp. It's not fluent if you know what I mean you've got gaps it looks like it's had snow all over it so I'm gonna pop that to one side and that ink so we don't get it anywhere right I'm just gonna test this again with 
without touching. Yeah, I want it about there, so I don't want a gap to come through. So I just pop that right about there. That's perfect for me. And I'm going to use my Tombow. My wig Costella's playing up quite a bit just lately. My new one. Lay that quick. Test this on top. Perfect. Yeah, my new wig Costella's playing up, so I've got a brand new one I haven't opened yet, but uh I've still loads in that one, see? It keeps clogging up. And I just sent two stamp sets back. And complained about my blades, because I have, I'm not, not very often, I must admit, I do get to a dodgy pack of blades every now and then. And if you, they are very good though, if you tell them at Stampin' Up, they will replace them. They're fabulous like that. So I'm just going to turn that over for a sec. I'll press that down. I don't want to run. Look, see, they take bloods from the back of my hand. Because they can't get out of my veins. It's a bit sore. Really painful. I need to put a tiny little needle in to try and draw blood off you. It's not sweet. So let's get my new wink of Stella. Let's see if... What I've got to do, I'll have to fetch some tissue in because it, it wants to play. It fills the barrel up, but it leaks out a lot. I'll oh, see. Now I'm just taking it over the edge. Of this, so it looks like frosted snow. Isn't that wonderful? Just adds another dimension to it. And I also, if it lasts, oh, I'm going over my trees. See, if I shake it, it comes out loads. But it doesn't last long on the brush. So I've got a dodgy winker Stella. I'm wasting more than I'm using. Let's scoop this up off here. No, see, I've got to squeeze again already. That's wrong. But then it floods out, and then I don't get any more. A beautiful Christmas card there. Oh, the, the, the wreaths I did yesterday. Oh my God, my family love them. And they all put their order in. See what I mean? I, I shouldn't have to do this. Then you get too much in one area and it looks over the top. So I am trying to scoop it up. Let me have a look at that. See, there's a way too much glitter on there now. Way too much. I'm having a dodgy Winkostella day. And you can't even mop it up dry, it's really quick. It's a shame because I love this stuff. And you know me. My friend uh, Mandy always calls me Stella anyway. <laughs> so let's get rid of this out of the way. <clears throat> Isn't that beautiful? I 
that's absolutely gorgeous. See how it soaked it there? It's gone right through, but they will dry. I'm adding quite a fair bit of Tombow to this. my card make sure I'm opening it the right way <laughs> I'm going to turn it over again because I don't want to smudge oh there we go it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and I've gone ahead already and cut my little reindeer out I'm just going to position him right there. Pick him up with my tweezers. And I'm going to pop him right. Isn't that lovely? I love that. And the trees are in different positions, so the card is never going to be exactly the same. And I'm just going to randomly dot three rhinestones. Poke it through the trees as if they were stars. I used to do it with my finger, but my nails are getting in the way. So there we have it. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a shame about all that wink of Stella oozing out. But uh, there's, look, see, the reindeer's in a different place. This one's in a different place. Oh, they're gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed. Um, a thumbs up and a share and a subscribe would be fantastic down in the bottom right hand corner here press the subscribe button and then don't forget to press the bell next door that will then notify you every time i upload a video which has been four times today but <laughs> an actual video i make at least once maybe twice a day so thanks again for watching i hope you enjoy and i'll see you all soon take care bye